TikTok, TikTok. It's Wednesday morning and I'm procrastinating because my daily chores await. I, I, I've got to pull myself out of this cleaning funk. So let's get this party started. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, excuse my goofiness, I've got to try to find some sort of humor in everything I do. It just gets the ball rolling, so to speak. Let's go, let's go get the kitchen clean. I've got things to do. Real life, sponge in hand. The remnants of last night's dinner on the counter, just waiting for me, just waiting for me. Do you guys do that? Last night, we ate dinner, we went to sit on the couch, and I told myself, I'll go do the dishes after this show. Well, the show ended, and I said, I'll do the dishes after this show. <sighs> after that show, I said, yeah, let's just do it in the morning. Let's go to bed. Let's get these dishes done. Don't worry, I'll fast forward it for you guys. when you do your dishes. I don't know why, but I like to rinse all my plates and stack them. And then once they're all cleaned and stacked, then I just like, boom, bada, bang. I just throw them in the uh, dishwasher. Easy peasy that way, as opposed to going one at a time. So I like to make my little piles and then I just throw them in the dishwasher. You see, I'd be videotaping right now if I had done my dishes last night. Shame on you, Liz. Shame on you. We could be having some fun decorating. And instead, I'm here scrubbing the dishes. Procrastinator. It's terrible. <laughs> tried Kaboom. Amazing product. Amazing. You spray this in your sink, your bathrooms, your bathtub, your showers. It sprays on purple and goes white when it's clean. I desperately need to clean my kitchen sink, so I'm going to Kaboom it. Here we go. See, it's going white and that side's still purple. Those little bubbles literally do all the work for you. It's amazing. You see, I like to call this my cleaning crew in a can. Those little bubbles go in, they do all the hard work for you. Watch, okay, it's all white now, so I'm just gonna rinse it and it's clean. See? It's white, so that indicates that it's ready to be rinsed. So let's rinse it. Now, I do see a few spots where food was stuck on, so I just take my sponge and just give it a quick one over. Now, when I get my sinks 
clean. I go in with the paper towel. I just give it a quick dry. So next, I go in with my Sprayway stainless steel cleaner. Y'all, this, this product is amazing. It's amazing. Say you're having company over and you didn't have time to clean your kitchen sink. Just go rinse it down real quick, throw this on. It shines it right up. No one will even know your sink's really dirty. Taking my spray away and I'm gonna spray it in here real quick. Just a quick light spray. Grab yourself a paper towel and then wipe it down real quick. Look how shiny it makes it. And it's squeak, you can tell it's just squeaky clean. See that? Squeak, squeak, squeak. That's a good indicator how clean your sink really is. And you're done. So use stainless steel cleaner. Uh, it's oil-based, it cleans, polishes, preserves, and protects. And I use it on my refrigerator, my, uh, my stove area over there. See, my hood vent, I use it on my microwave, my oven. It's just amazing, amazing. So anyway, I will link these products in my description box below if you're interested. I just love to share what works well for me because if it's easy for me, it'll, it'll be easy for you too. And anything that makes cleaning easier, sign me up. So excited because I'm almost done with my kitchen. The place I least like to be in the morning. I just hate cleaning the kitchen. I hate it. But I love the clean look of it. So that motivates me to get up every day and get it done. But anyway, uh, the last thing I need to do is, to tidy up is use my Method Daily Granite Cleaner. It cleans and it polishes. It's great on granite. This is quartz. I use it on there. It shines it up beautifully. And the scent is Apple Orchard. I love it. It's like my favorite product. Love, love, love. So let's get these countertops clean so we can get down to brass tacks and get some decorating done around here. <music> understand why my pillows always end up on the ground. I need to talk to the fam about this. This has got to stop. Why? Why are they on the ground? It's all suspicious. Pillow fluffing time. Hiya. I always have to do that. Last but not least, I gotta straighten this table up and push my chairs in. Someone left their robe out, so I gotta go to the coat closet and hang it up. We like to leave our robes down here. So at night, if it's cold, we can just go to the coat closet, grab a cozy robe and keep warm. Same thing, same drill in the morning. All right, I gotta put this laptop away in the office and these game cards. Have any of you played the game Kemp's? Oh my gosh, 
This game is so much fun. We have been playing it and having family game nights. We get wild and crazy and competitive with that game, you guys. It's, it's hilarious. Um, with this game, I've never laughed so hard in my life. So if you haven't played Kemp's, look it up and, and try to play it with some friends or family. You guys will have a blast, I promise. Last but not least, what is this? Method Wood for Good Daily Clean in the Almond Scent. It's non-toxic, plant-based spray. Love this stuff. I will link it down below in the description box in case you're interested, but I have to tell you, the table you see here was ruined over summer. We had, we had takeout night and we ordered Chinese and we were in a hurry that night and we scarfed our food down and put the Chinese down on the table without protecting it, uh, the table, you know, like putting a pot holder down or something totally ruined the table. You could see white spots and discoloration where we had sat warm things down. Don't do that. Don't be like us. I was so upset. I tried everything to get, you know, my table looking okay. Every wood polish you can imagine. Guess what restored it? This product. Big, big fan of this. So anyway, I'm going to give this a quick spray and uh, then we'll get to decorating. Uh, no, after I pick up the family room. Can you guys see how clean it looks? The daily grind, fold the blankets, put them away, fluff the pillows. We are still using our Christmas blankets. Why? Well, they're soft, they're cozy and on cold winter nights, why not? When you find a good blanket, you just gotta keep using it. But I keep them in the coat closet. So anyway, part of my daily grind. This one is so cozy. This is like my favorite blanket to snuggle up to every night. It's not the cutest of blankets, but let me tell you, it is cozy. You can see my pillows are all turned around the wrong way. Just call me the pillow fluffer. Hi yeah. It's it's kind of like silly things like this, fluffing of the pillows. It makes me happy. I don't know why. Just having everything in its place, looking clean and tidy, makes this mom happy. Every day I've got to straighten what I like to refer to as the remote boat. I don't know why I call it that, but I do. I found this at Home Goods. I don't I think this is supposed to be used for silverware. I don't know, maybe if you entertain, but I thought, you know what? That's kind of cool. You can pick it up, spin it around, pick which remote you need. Got my Dish Network remote, stereo remote, Apple remote. And then over here I like to put have a place to put glasses. And I keep it on a tray on the ottoman with some candles. So when we're watching TV at night, the candles go on, it gives it a cozy look and feel. Oh, I just turned the TV on accidentally. How did that happen? Um, anyway, so I put this on the ottoman, straighten that every day. Now, if I wanted to, I suppose I could vacuum, but I did it the other day. It's not, it's not bad, it's not bad. So why waste the energy? Now that I got a little cleaning done, let's go decorate a table that I just brought in after Christmas and add a few little springy touches to it. All right, guys, I brought this table in from my home office. Um, I've got something else in there presently, which you guys will see soon, but I didn't like seeing the whole back of the uh, sectional. So I brought this table in and I also wanted to add this, add some light. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I purchased this lampshade at the consignment store in town. And I really like the color and the design. It's kind of a little bit of a salmon-y color. And so I'm gonna be on the lookout for pillows and throw blankets that are this color and eventually, hopefully, incorporate it into the family room. 
Presently, I've got some yellow, more on that later, but today we're gonna work on this table. Now, there was no electrical outlet for me to plug my lamp in, so for those of you who have similar issues, just do what I did. I took the cord, I ran it here, and then I tried to run it down the leg so you really don't see it, which is awesome. And then I took it and wrapped it around the leg that's in there. And then I ran an extension cord all the way down and then over that way to the, you can see where it comes out over there. So you really don't see it. So I love it though. Let's put the light on so you can see what it looks like. At night, it looks so cozy. Next up, I'm gonna put this on the top. This is a cute little like hanging lantern that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below in case you guys like it. Um, and it's got cute little feet. What I did was I took a wreath that I got from home, no, Hobby Lobby. You can get these all day long at Hobby Lobby. They're fairly inexpensive. I like it because it's twiggy. It looks, it just looks pretty. And then I'm slapping a, an LED candle in the center of this. I'm gonna be on the lookout for a larger one, but this one will work just fine. And I'm gonna place this, see, where do I wanna, I think I'm gonna place it center stage. Just like that. And that's what it looks like. By the way, you guys, if you like this little table, I found this at Home Goods, and I got it fairly cheap. So check there if you like it. All right, let's add something there and something there. Next up, I've got these two book boxes. I got these at Ross years and years ago. One's some apple, has some apples on it, and this one has grapes. But what I really liked is, the thing I liked most was the design on the sides. I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna set these book boxes right here. Let me pull you over and point you down. So I'm just gonna set these right here and kind of turn one. And then I have this. I got this at Ross and I'm just gonna set this on top. And there's that. And so that's how it looks. But let's add a little something, something right there. Let me turn this just slightly. Now bunnies might be too early for some of you. I totally get it. But as I stated, I'm jumping right into spring. So Mr. Bunny has found his way and he hippity hopped right on top of this table. And I'm just gonna set Mr. Bunny right here. Just like that. And that's how it looks. We're gonna keep the bottom of that super simple. Super simple. I got this right before Christmas at the consignment store. And I'm gonna put this down here to add a little height and give it kind of a springy feel. I'm adding this next to the grass and this, and then I'll be done. And that's how it looks, guys. Like I said, super simple. Well, guys, that's gonna wrap up my video today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I got some of my daily chores done. My mom chores, as I like to say. Um, and we did a little bit of decorating. I just wanted to change it up, you know, and we'll be back into the throes of decorating on Friday. So stay tuned.
One more thing I would like to say, I noticed that I've gotten a tremendous amount of new subscribers. I just wanna say hi and welcome and thank you for joining my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And to all my wonderful diehard subbies, I love you guys. Thank you for sticking it out with me, loving me, supporting me, goofy me. I love you guys. I'll see you Friday. Mwah.